Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles with you here on a Monday morning. Um, well, there's been a lot of uh, different articles and uh, about um, you know bishops, and I've been been pretty much passing on those. But this one here caught my eye because it has to do with the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception in Washington. This is very, to me, very disturbing. Well, particularly because it's, you know, sort of mother's home in um, America. Here, listen to this. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano is confirming that as papal nuncio, he received complaints of homosexual predation and harassment by Monsignor Walter Rossi, rector of the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. Monsignor Rossi, this is a quote now, is without a doubt a member of the gay mafia, Vigano said in remarks to Italian journalist Marco Tosati on Saturday. The former paintball nuncio noted Rosati's connection to two proven homosexual predators, Bishop Michael Bransfield, his immediate precessor as rector of the Basilica, suspended after evidence that he sexually assaulted seminarians and also misappropriated millions of dollars for personal expenses, expenses. and then Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, who handpicked Rossi to replace Bransfield. In fact, quote, in fact, his successor as rector of the Basilica, uh, Monsignor Walter Rossi, he was appointed there by McCarrick the same year that Bransfield was appointed bishop. I think he's talking about uh, Bishop of Wheeling, uh, West Virginia, uh, Vigano went on to say, uh, the fact is confirmed by the Arlington Archdiocese in, the, in its newspaper, uh, what, what I just said. All right. Vigano confirmed that Rossi is a member of the homosexual current in the church. In the American Spectator article, authored by George uh, Newmayer, Multiple sources allege that Rossi has carried out a number of homosexual relationships and has sexually harassed seminarians and students from Catholic University of America, on whose board of trustees he sits. Oh boy. Quote, I can say that while I was a nuncio in the United States, I received the documentation that states that Monsignor Rossi had sexually molested male students at the Catholic University of America, Vigano wrote. The Vatican, in particular, Cardinal Pietro Parolin, oh boy, there's a surprise, is well aware of the situation of Monsignor Rossi, as is, here's another big surprise, Cardinal Whirl. All right, well, um, I can finally testify, quote, I can finally testify that Rossi, Rossi's name was proposed for promotion to my predecessor, Archbishop Pietro Sambi, who blocked his progress, he continued. These facts clearly show how the gay mafia operates. Well, there's a lot more, and this gets more complicated. Now you're going to, there's another sexting scandal associated with all this. You know. Well, if you're interested in any, if, in any more of this uh, filth here, uh, this is in church militant. So this is really, you know, to me, really, well, I mean, it's all disturbing. It just caught my eye because it, it's happening at the National Basilica. You know, see, there's still so much. I mean, you know, if they've even con uncovered 1% or even 5 or, you know, 10% of what the reality is of all this and all these bishops and stuff um, who continually, um, you know, they must belong to uh, 
Well, I guess they belong to their own mafia, you know. I mean, other than that, you know, um, you know, they, they protect each other and, you know, they don't want to talk about anything. And they just think it's all going to pass and everything's going to be okay. Well, there's just quite a bit more of the article if you want to read it. Well, okay, so that's that. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.